everybody. Happy Tuesday. Miss Andre here. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, hopefully the video did not get cut off today. I noticed in yesterday's video um, when I went live for some reason, the first part of <laughs> what I was saying to you guys got cut off. So hopefully today uh, you were able to hear it from the beginning. Hope you guys had a great day. The weather was absolutely beautiful, right? So nice and warm and sunny. So hopefully you got the opportunity, you know, to go outside, take a walk, ride your bikes, maybe go to the park, uh, just to get some fresh, beautiful air because it was a beautiful spring day today. Um, the story I chose for tonight's read aloud is called Morris Goes to School. And what kind of animal is Morris? He's a moose, right? Do moose go to school? No, right? That's super silly. But in this story, he's going to go to school, okay? And let's think about some of the things that we learn when we are in school. One of the things we learn, right, is what he is doing here. What is he doing in this picture? Looks like he's reading from a book, right? So we learn how to read in school. What else do we learn? We learn math, right? Counting, adding, subtracting. We learn our numbers, how to write our numbers, how to recognize the numbers. We learn how to group things, sort things, right? By sizes and shapes. We learn our letters. We put the letters together to make words, right? Word families, sight words. We might do a little bit of writing, right? Uh, creative writing every day, which is super important. And we also learn to make friends, right? School is where a lot of our friends are. And I know, you know, during this time with the coronavirus, schools have been closed for so long, right? So I know we miss school, even though you guys will never admit it. <laughs> I know you miss school. I miss school. Um, and you just want to be with your friends. You know, now I know a lot of you guys might be doing like the online learning or the remote learning, which is really different, right? Because your teacher is not in front of you. You see her through the computer, right? So it's a whole different way of learning. So it's like you're going to school, you're just not physically in the actual building, right? So learning is always important. We want to make sure that we're learning every day. And we're going to see why in the story there's a moose going to school, okay? All righties. Okay, here we go. Morris the moose wanted candy, but, hmm, is he going to the candy store? Hmm, what do we see here? Fish. <laughs> He's going to the fish store. So can we find candy in the fish store? Hmm, I don't think so. I mean, you might find, like, fish-flavored candy, but I'm not really sure if that would be really yummy to eat, right? All right, so he went to the wrong store. The man in the store said, uh, we don't sell candy, my friend. Can't you read? Right, so he's showing him the title of the store, right, the name of the store. And Morris is kind of looking at it like, huh? Why, why do you think he's looking kind of confused? He can't read, right? So if you can't read, it's very, very difficult, right? And I know in school, the way that we are taught to read, right? We learn that each letter makes a sound first, right? And that we could put those sounds together to make words, but I don't even think he knows that these are letters and what sounds they make, right? Because otherwise he would have been able to put the sounds together of the letters to realize that it says fish. Okay, so then the man showed Morris the candy store, right? We can tell it's a candy store, it says candy. And we see the candy in the windows, and look, he is licking his lips, right? Mm -mm -mm. He loves his candy. So that was nice of the man to show him, right? Okay, the man in the candy store said, what would you like? Morris looked at the candy. He liked the gumdrops. He said, give me some of those. The man said, they are one for a penny. How much money do you have? Morris looked. So let's count, my friends. How much money does he have? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So he has six pennies. Okay? A penny is one cent. So if he has six, he has six cents. Right? Morris looked, he had six pennies. Six cents. I have four pennies, he said. <gasps> Did he say the right amount? No, right? I mean, we could see from the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> so why did he tell the man four? Why do you think? He doesn't know how to count, right? That is something else that we learn how to do in school, right? We learn how to count a certain number of objects. So he just kind of guessed, right? Oh boy. <laughs> the man laughed. You have six. Can't you count? Don't you go to school, he said. Morris asked, what is a school? The man said, I will show you. But first, here are six gumdrops. They are one for a penny, and you have six pennies. Right, so there's one for a penny. If he has six pennies, right, there's six all together. So six gumdrop, gumdrops. Then the man took Morris to school. The children said, oh, look, a real moose. Now, how would you feel if you were in school one day, right, and the teacher was standing there, the door opens and in comes a giant moose. How would you feel? You'd be kind of surprised, right, saying, whoa, what is going on here, right? The teacher said, hello, my name is Miss Fine. The man said, He's never went to school. See, they're all pointing at him and, and smiling. I don't know if I would be smiling. I might be a little nervous, right? Because he's such a big animal. But um, yeah, they're happy to have him. Morris could not say anything, though. His mouth was full of those gun, uh, gumdrops. Morris swallowed the gumdrops. Then he said, my name is Morris the Moose. I want to learn to count. I want to learn to read too. I like candy. Miss Fine said, hello, Morris. Welcome to our class. Please sit at a desk. Hmm. Now, the desks are kind of small, so I wonder how this is going to work. Do you think he'll be able to sit in a desk? Let's see. Uh-oh. <laughs> Morris tried but he didn't fit, right? That, yeah, that is not working at all. <laughs> He's too big. He had to sit on top of the desk. Oh my goodness, so silly, right? We will now study the alphabet, said Miss Fine. This is an, what letter is that? A, right? What sound does A make? Ah, like apple, right? This is a, B, 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 right? Morris hid under the desk, he yelled, where's the B? I'm afraid of bees, they sting. Miss Fine said, I meant the letter B, this one here. It doesn't sting. Then Miss Fine said, and next there is C, right, C, -c, -c. But see, Morris doesn't know the letters, right? So when Miss Fine said B, he thought she meant the flying kind. <laughs> That's why he hid under the desk, right? He's so silly, though. It's the actual letter she was talking about. Oh, I like the sea, Morris said. I love to swim. No, no, said Miss Fine. I meant the letter C, this one here. And next, Miss Fine said, there is D. E, and what comes after E, guys? F, G, H, I. Morris yelled, I have an I. I have two of them. <laughs> so he's not really understanding the idea that the letters can make sounds, right? He's kind of just relating to them to experiences he had. Like he's seen a bee outside flying around the insect, right? For the letter C, he's been to the ocean, he's seen the water, he swims in it, right? And then for the letter I, he's saying that he has two eyes. <laughs>
Miss Fine said, I meant the letter I. Morris, please don't interrupt again. Morris didn't. Morris couldn't because Morris was not there. He had to leave the room. Why did he have to leave the room? Where is he going, my friends? The bathroom, right? One door said, what does this say? Do you guys know? Boys. And the other door said, girls. But Morris couldn't read yet. <gasps> so he opened the wrong door. Uh-oh. What door did he go into? The girls' bathroom. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. A girl cried, stop! You can't come in here. This is for girls. The other one is for boys. Morris told Miss Fine, there's no door for a moose. So Miss Fine put up a sign. Okay, so what does this sign now say? It says boys and moose. Right? It's not really his fault though, right? Because he couldn't read the words. Which is why sometimes on the bathroom signs, you'll see like the words boys and girls, but then they'll have a picture underneath, right? So even if you couldn't read the words, you could still look at the picture, right? But this one didn't have pictures, so that was a little tricky for him. When Morris came back, Miss Fine said, now we will spell cat, right? How do we spell cat? C-A-T. And dog is spelled D. O G. Morris looks sad. What's the matter, Morris? asked Miss Fine. Morris said, You didn't spell moose. Can anyone spell moose? asked Miss Fine. A boy said, M O S E. Is that how we spell moose? Uh -uh. A girl said, No, no. It is. M-O-O-C-E. Is that how we spell moose? You are both wrong, said Miss Fine. It is spelled M-O-O-S-E. That's a big word, right? So when you have the two O's together, it makes the oo sound. Okay? Morris said, oh, I am hard to spell. Miss Fine said, I think it is time for lunch. The children open their lunch boxes. Right? Lunchtime, they all have their own lunch. I wonder what Morris is going to eat. Some of them had cheese sandwiches. Some had cream cheese and jelly sandwiches. Some had hamburgers. Each of them had a piece of fruit. But Morris had nothing. Remember, because he had gone to the candy store earlier in the day to get those gumdrops. And then the man brought him to school, right? So he didn't have anything to eat, but he ate lunch anyway. So <laughs> what did he eat for lunch? The grass outside of the school, right? Why not? They just opened up the window and he was munching on some grass. <laughs> After lunch, the children played. Some played ball and some jumped rope. Morris did both at the same time. <laughs> Oh, funny, funny. How did he do both at the same time? Let's see. He's catching the ball because he's so tall, right? And then look. What are they using as the jump rope? His tail, right? So that is very, very silly. <laughs> Miss Fine said, children, now it is time to rest. The children rested on their desks. Morris tried. <laughs> But what happened? He was too big for the desks, right? So Miss Fine let him use her desk, and he looks like he fits just right. <laughs> when rest time was over, Miss Fine said, Wake up, wake up! It is time to finger paint. Morris said, I will hoof paint, right? Because moose don't have fingers, they have hooves, right? You can tell which painting he did. So he has a hoof. So he, did he do this one? Mm -mm. Did he do this one? Mm -mm. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Yes, right? And if you look here, you could see the match. He has, it looks like almost two fingers, but they're really hooves, right? So one, two, and then one, two. So that, that is his. 
Miss Fine said, now we will study arithmetic. So if you don't know, arithmetic is another word for math. Who would like to count? So a boy began to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Hmm. Is he correct in the way he counted? Uh-uh. He's missing a number. What number is he missing? Hmm. Hold on to that thought. No, no, said Miss Fine. Who knows what comes after eight? Morris said, I know. Bedtime. <laughs> right? Because he probably goes to bed at eight o'clock. Is he correct? <laughs> When we're counting, it doesn't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bedtime, ten. That doesn't make any sense, right? So what comes after eight? Nine is the answer, said Miss Fine. Nine comes after eight. Who knows what comes after nine? A girl counted on her fingers. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, she said. Ten comes after nine. Miss Fine said, you're correct. That's right. Morris looks sad. What's the matter, Morris? Asked Miss Fine. So, why do you think Morris is sad? They were just counting, right, on their fingers. Why would Morris be sad if they're counting on their fingers? Hmm, I wonder why. Morris held up his hoofs. I can only count to four, he said. Right? Because look, one, two, three, four. On a regular hand, what can we count up to? One, two, three, four, five. Right? But he doesn't have regular fingers. Miss Fine said, you can count higher than that. I will show you. So she counted on Morris's hoofs. One two, three, four. How can he count higher than four, my friends? How do you think? He only has these two hooks. One, two, three, four. Where else, how else can he count? Do you know? Hmm, I wonder how, let's see. Then she counted on Morris's antlers. Oh, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, isn't that a creative way to count? So she used his antlers and his hooves. Morris said, I like to count. I will never wear a hat. Miss Fine said, Now I think it is time to sing a song. What is a song? Morris asked. Oh boy, my friends. <laughs> Remember, he's never been in school. So I know it sounds silly to me and you, but he's never been in school before, right? So I wonder what song they are going to sing. Miss Fine said, I will show you. And she sang, I've been working on the railroad. What is a railroad? Morris asked. A railroad has tracks, said Miss Fine, and they look like this. Kind of looks like something else too, my friends, doesn't it? Oh, I know what tracks are, Morris said. Firemen climb them. Hmm. So this is supposed to be railroad tracks, and then Morris is saying that he's seen it before because the firemen climb it. So what else does it look like? What do firemen climb? It looks like a ladder, right? No, no, said Miss Fine. Firemen climb ladders. Ladders go up like this. So she drew then a ladder, but the tracks also kind of look like a ladder, right? Morris said, let's sing another song. I'm learning a lot. Miss Fine said, no, we just have time for a game. Let's play make believe. They're gonna like use their imaginations, okay? It's kind of like when you guys are playing in center time, like dramatic play and you're dressing up and you're pretending to be a mommy or a daddy cooking dinner or maybe you dress up in a princess costume, right? So they're gonna play some make-believe. 
a girl said, I am a tree. Right? She's a tree. Can you guys be a tree also? You just got to put your hands up straight and tall, right? A boy said, I am a monkey. Can you guys act like a monkey? Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Ooh, ah. Another boy said, I am a moose. <laughs> Morris and the children laughed. Morris went to the coat closet. I wonder what he's going to pretend to be. Remember, they're, they're doing make-believe. He's going to the coat closet. In a coat closet, what do we have? We have lots of coats, right? So I wonder what he's going to be. What do you think? Let's see. He said, I am a coat closet. The children laughed again. Miss Fine laughed too. Oh boy, look at this picture. Look at that. So he is hanging all of those coats on himself, right? That is very, very silly, but he used his imagination, right? <laughs> then the school bell rang. Morris asked, Is that the ice cream man? Miss Fine said, No, it is time to go home. Morris gave the children their coats. The children and Morris said, Goodbye, Miss Fine. Miss Fine said, I will see you all tomorrow. Morris ran to the forest. He took money from his hiding place. What was his hiding place? Where is it? It's like the inside of a tree, right? Like a squirrel's house almost, right? A little hole in the tree, that's where he keeps his money. He wanted candy. Hmm. I guess he got hungry again. This time, he went to the right store. So is this the right store? Candy. Candy. He was able to read it correctly now, right? He said, hello, I want some gumdrops, please. The man said, hello, they are one for a penny. How much money do you have? So, do you think he's going to count his money correctly this time? Probably, right? Because he went to school. Just like he was able to read the sign correctly now. Morris looked. He had five pennies, right? One, two, three, four. Four, five. I have five pennies, he said. Give me five gumdrops, please. The man gave Morris the gumdrops. He said, you learned arithmetic. What else did you learn in school? So the man is very happy now, right? Because he was able to count his money correctly. Morris said, I learned how to hoof paint. I learned how to spell moose. I learned how to be a closed closet. And I learned all the numbers in the alphabet. Um, are there numbers in the alphabet? I think he got a little confused, right? <laughs> the man said, you mean all the letters, don't you? Morris wanted to say yes. Morris tried to say yes, but Morris couldn't. How come? Oops. How come he couldn't talk? His mouth was full of the gumdrops. <laughs> okay, and that is the end of the story. So the story did a really good job, I think, of showing us how important going to school and learning are, right? And you guys might not like school, right? You got to get up early. You have to listen to the teacher all day long. But you really are learning a lot of important things when you go to school whether it be numbers, or letters, or counting, math, division, money, phonics, writing stories, whatever it might be. Everything that you learn in school, I can guarantee you, you will need to use throughout your life. And it's really, really important, right? As you saw in this story, he couldn't really read the signs, he couldn't count his money, he didn't really know what the letters or the numbers were, how to count. And then he went to school. Now, he only went to school for a day. Obviously, you're not going to go to school for one day and learn everything, right? That's why we go to school for many, many years, so we can continue learning. And I know, you know, right now with the virus, like I said earlier, before I started to read, Schools are closed, but that doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't be learning every day, right? That's why your teachers are teaching you every day through the computers, right? But it's also important, I think, aside from that, to make sure that you are trying to do as much as you can to improve on all your skills, whether it be math, 
or phonics, right? YouTube does offer a lot of great videos. There's a lot of websites now that are also offering free math and literacy uh, classes as well as video. So I would encourage you to look that up on Google because um, there's just so many amazing resources. And like I said, because of what we're going through right now, a lot of them are offering them for free. So I really encourage you guys to take, you know, advantage of that. Because the learning should not stop just because the schools are closed. And then hopefully when the schools reopen again, um, you'll be that much more further ahead rather than not doing anything this whole time and forgetting all those really important skills, right? Um, you always want to improve. You always want to work on getting better academically. I think it's really, really important. Um, so, you know, hopefully you guys will look into that. And I hope you're all doing well. And of course, as usual, stay safe, stay happy, and stay blessed. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. All right? Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.